Alright, this is just a quick chromatic scale tutorial uh, using Utah. So I'm gonna get right into it. First thing you need is Audacity. If you already have Audacity, just go to the timestamp and skip it. So open up Google or whatever browser you use. Type in Audacity download and then click on whatever one you're using. I'm using Windows, so Windows. Click on this thing right here, Audacity 3.1.364 bit installer. I'll send a link in this description if you can't find this page. So yeah, when it's finished downloading, I'll be right back. All right, and it's done. Just simply click this, it's gonna open up the installer. This thing's gonna pop up. Do you want the, to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes, go scan install it, choose whatever language you speak. I speak English, click next, just spam next. I already have this installed, so you won't see this. Just click next, next, install. It's gonna start installing. All right, next, finish. It's gonna launch Audacity. If it doesn't launch Audacity by chance, simply just go to your, I'm using this little window browser and just type in Audacity and then just click that. You won't see this, you'll probably see this. Just click OK. So now you just need to record your samples. You don't need to use the samples I'm gonna use. You can use whatever vowels you want. You can you don't it doesn't have to be five. I'm gonna use five. You can be four, three, whatever. So yeah, let me just record the samples real quick. R-E-O-U. Alright, that's where your samples. Press A E. Good. Uh, if nothing is picking up when you record, nothing's happening, uh, you want to go to this microphone thing and choose your microphone. If you can't hear anything, go to this audio and choose your headphone. So yeah. Next step, you want to cut these up. So you can, with your uh, cursor, you can left click and drag and this little outline thing comes up. So go to the edge of these and you can, with the holding left click, go to the edge of that and just click backspace. If you're having trouble trying to get it just on the edge, um, it doesn't have to be perfect, but if you still want to be perfect, you can hold control and use your scroll wheel and it zooms in to get a better uh, precise accuracy. So yeah, you have that. You have the first one. Now go to the end. Again, it could be cutting a little bit of the end. doesn't matter. Just delete. Go to the end. And then uh, this. Ah, uh, so we want to go up to file, export, Export as WAV. Now it may seem like this PC or libraries or whatever. Simply just click quick access and double click downloads. So whatever vowel you use, so pretend you said A, E, O, whatever, for the one you just cut, you want to name it that. So I used A, I'm going to name it A.WAV. Again, make sure it is a WAV, it has to be a WAV. And then click save. Click OK, and then it's going to export. So now to get your other vowels back because you delete it, just do Control Z. I did Control Z twice. If you do too much Control Z, oh no, you deleted it. Do Control Y to redo it. So Control Z, and then just simply with the other one, start cutting them with the other one like that. And uh, I'll get back to you when I'm done. All right, after you get all of those saved, you could just go ahead and close Audacity. We don't need it anymore. And then go to your file explorer. Or sorry, not your file explorer. Let's go to Google now. You want to go to Utah 2008. I don't know, .jp. I'll send a link in the description to make it easier. Everything's going to be in Japanese. Don't worry. You can translate it to English or whatever language you use. You just want to simply click this one right here, version 0.4.18e installer. Just click that because it's the latest one. This file is going to pop up. If you don't see this file or it's like a yellow, maybe it's a yellow zip folder, I don't know. Uh, you want to extract this file. So if it says like open with Internet Explorer, it gives you these options. You need to download Windows RAR or another type of zip archive. 
actual um, app to use. So yeah, assuming you see this, go to your downloads with your file explorer, left click and then right click the file. And then you wanna go to extract to whatever the file's name is, Utah 0418E Insta. So yeah, may take a lot of extract, for me it doesn't. Yeah, <laughs> just Insta2 and whatever. If you won't see Insta2, you'll see Insta. And then we'll see Utah E Insta.exe. Uh, it didn't pop for me, but if nothing popped for you, look at your taskbar. You should see this little shield, click it, and it'll say, do you want this? And the publisher make changes, yes. Uh, just spam right here, just spam this bottom right thing. All right, it's done. Next, <laughs> sorry, you wanna go to this PC in your file explorer, this PC. Click on local disk or whatever a hard drive you use. It may not be in the C drive if you have multiple drives. And then you wanna go to local disk, C, program files times 86, Utah, scroll down to Utah, I'm blind, Utah. Double click voice and you're gonna see probably only one voice bank. I use this a lot to make a line of sales for all my friends and subscribers. Uh, now we go to new, make a folder, new folder, name it your name, add the fat, voice bank. New folder's empty, cool. So now you wanna open a new file explorer However you do it, I like to right click on this little icon and just click File Explorer and opens up a new one. And with the vowels you recorded, simply just drag it into this voice bank folder and click done, continue. And now that's the, I said the most complicated part done. They wanna to go to downloads and or you'll see the link, go to the link in the description. I'm gonna send you this download thing called Chromatic going to be this little UST file. So clean double click, this may pop up, just simply click close, full screen this, and now you see a bunch of these notes. Uh, don't be alarmed, this is much, you don't have to use any of these buttons really. Simply click on this blue thing, it's probably going to say JAD, new, 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 whatever. <laughs> yeah, literally whatever. Uh, simply click that, this is going to pop up, click this little text box, this one, not this one. The little voice slash, yeah, I think it's slash dad. Now choose your chromatic scale. So John the fat voice bank, click OK. And with your uh, cursor, hold and drag above one of these notes and click Facebook. Uh... And you'll hear your voice. E... And they should all go. Uh, lowest to highest, or really high up. So now this part's optional right here. In my opinion, this makes uh, your voice sound better and clearer. This part, if you don't want to do this, that's optional. So this part, go to tools, voice bank settings, and you're going to do these for all of them. So we'll start with the top one, click launch editor. Now you're gonna to go to the very end above the green and red thing. Your, your cursor is gonna turn into like a cross. Grab and drag either to like 0 0.1, 0 0.2, in between, doesn't matter. It can be, I like to do it around here. So you'll see this pink thing. If it moved the green thing like that, by accident, simply just drag it back and you see overlap, trying to make it zero. Yeah. All right, now go back exactly above the green and red, you're going to drag it again. This time you want to drag it like, I'd say one fourth or a half of like the pink thing right here. Pink thing's going to expand. That's fine. Grab the green one and you want to make it in the middle of this pink box. All right. Now go to the very end using the scroll wheel at the bottom. Go to this gray thing and it's like the opposite. So make sure your mouse is a cursor, grab, drag, uh, you can drag it whenever. This is more like where you want the recording to stop. So I like to go like over here without these weird squiggly lines. So 
Now you want to do the rest with all of these. And I'll meet you back when I'm done with that. All right, once all of those are done, click OK. And now this part's a bit, also maybe you're gonna be a bit confusing. If you use the vowels I use, ah, eh, e, o, u, perfect. That's great. This will be 10 times easier. If you didn't, that's fine. You can easily change this. Do control A, always gonna be highlighted. Now up here, it's like lyric, lyric, yeah, lyric. I can't read. So depending on the file names, pretend you named one T uh, or R or whatever. You wanna, so depending on order, if I type I, I, A, E, O, I, U, W, Q, whatever. So I, uh, so each of these, these spaces will correspond to one note. So that A will go here. This E will go here. This O will go here. You get it? So, etc. If you have a pattern you like, so I like to just go in order. A, E, E, O, U. I just simply highlight these, control C. And I click space bar, paste, space bar, paste, space bar, whatever. Keep doing that. You can go as long as you want. And then click this button and this will change all the notes. Make sure all the notes are highlighted though. Like mine aren't right now, which is my bad. Control A. And yeah. So uh, I'm going to get rid of these. Because I already have them in the order I like. I just like to go in order. This is where you can start experimenting. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect like mine. And mine isn't perfect. It's just what I like to use. And yeah. Yeah, you can click on them. Because of the voice bank thing we did. That's better. Oh, uh, my use a bit quiet. Uh, that's fine. I mean, if I I don't care because I already made a voice bank. But if you don't like that, simply just re-record it. And if you re-record something, here's the problem: you have to make a new voice bank for everything, because or else Utah will do this glitch where it makes you be like super disoriented and not disoriented, distorted, distorted, and sound horrible. At least that's what I, happens to me happen to other people's. Maybe it won't happen to you. But yeah, if you were going to record a new voice sample, simply just make a new voice bank and play it safe. All right. And that's pretty much it for the voice bank. Simply click project, render file, save it wherever. Somewhere, save it somewhere where you know. I'm not going to name it Chad, the fat chromatic scale. Save. This thing's going to pop up. Don't worry, it's just rendering. Just wait for it to render. And it's done. And that's it. Go to your file. Downloads wherever you saved it. Double click the file. Uh, uh, uh. I just I kept choosing the spot to thought it's not just the it's all the vowels should be working. Uh, right now some common problems are either you can't hear it when you click space bar, uh, it'll just be silent, uh, or it'll sound really bad. If that's the case, if it sounds really bad and you didn't do the voice bank thing, try doing that tool thing. If it still sounds bad, try re-recording the voice line. But remember, you have to make a new voice bank. If you did all of that and still either you can't hear it, then you probably made the audio clip too short. You don't want to make it like 0.1 second, 0.5 seconds. You want it to go, ah, and that's it. You want to record it very long. And that's the strategy. Uh, that's all for this video. Use your chromatic scale, FL Studio, Ableton, whatever you use. And yeah, if you have any questions, Feel free to comment or join the Discord server and I can help you out. Yeah, thank you for watching.